If you're feeling overwhelmed as a realtor, it doesn't have to be that way. And I'm gonna give you a list of tactical things that you can do today in order to see a massive change, get back on track and start to build momentum. Because that feeling of being overwhelmed makes you feel like your tires are spinning and it can lead to you losing your passion for the industry and ultimately becoming one of the statistics that leaves. And I don't want that to be you. I wanna see you win, build momentum and build the business and life you've always dreamed of which is why you got your license. Never forget that. When you got into real estate, you were excited and I wanna reignite that passion, but there's a few things that you need to do if you wanna get out of that rut, off the struggle bus, and back into momentum. What's up guys, my name is Mike Sherrard and I train thousands of agents every year. And this is something I see, unfortunately, all too often, almost every single day on different coaching calls that I lead. And people are so distracted. And I'll give you a couple of different examples. CRM, every agent knows they need to use a CRM. With CRM, they're looking at Chime, Lofty, Go High Level. They're looking at Follow Up Boss and watching all of these different reviews on which one should I use. They're distracted of which social media platform. Oh my God, should I be using Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook? What should I be using? Or wow, AI or prospecting. Should I cold call? Should I door knock? Bizbos are expired. And you see so many people distracted to the point where they don't take any action on any of it. And I'm gonna show you and talk to you about how to get outside of that and resolve it. But it's really unfortunate because when you feel overwhelmed, you end up doing nothing. And when you do nothing, you end up going broke and struggling. So let's talk about what you could do today in order to stop feeling overwhelmed and get back into building momentum. Okay, so one of my core values is called one thing, which is focusing on one thing until you've executed to the point where it becomes like second nature. So where a lot of people go wrong is they say, okay, it's a new year, mapping out my goals. I'm gonna get on YouTube. I'm gonna leverage a CRM. I'm going to prospect. I'm gonna do all of these things. And what they try to do is all of them at once. And we understand that the man who chases two rabbits catches none. And what happens there is you end up being very mediocre or very terrible at a lot of things and feeling overwhelmed instead of being incredible at a couple things and excelling. So what I do instead is I choose one theme each month. So I'll give you an example here. Let's say that you said this year, you want to get on YouTube, you want to prospect, you want to also leverage a CRM, but then you also want to host your first client appreciation event or something like that. Well, the first thing that you need to do is write out everything that you want to do for the year and order it, prioritize it in sequential order of the most urgent. So if you're an agent right now and you're struggling, you've got no business, you need business today, and you're financially in a bind, the quickest way to get clients is going to be prospecting. Yes, I talk about YouTube all the time and I swear by it, but that's delayed gratification. If you need business today, you have to pick up the phone, you have to talk to people or door knock. So priority one for month one would be prospecting. Now, what you need to do when you've chosen your first priority is only consume information related to that priority and execute on it when you learn it. So where a lot of people go wrong is they say, okay, I'm going to pick cold calling but then they're watching YouTube videos about a TikTok strategy, or they're watching YouTube videos or reading books about YouTube. Like you need to pick one thing and that is your only sole focus for that month. Could be longer, but until it becomes second nature and you start to see the fruit of your labor and actual tangible results and growth. So the reason why I put prospecting first for most people is you need leads. Realtors have three jobs, get clients, lead generation, service clients, working with buyers and sellers, which you hopefully know how to do, and then nurture clients, which is CRM. So your priority first should be, what do you need to do to get clients? And then the second priority, once you master that, is your CRM, because now you need to nurture those clients to get more business. But that can be your second priority. And if you start to make it a habit to choose one focal point per month and say, YouTube is great, I'll get to it. But this month, my focal point is prospecting. All I'm gonna do is consume information about scripting, about role playing, about follow up, about objection handlers, and I'm going to implement them that day. Now, the second part about that is that you need to properly leverage your calendar. This is where I see a lot of people go wrong too, 
is that they'll say, okay, Mike, you know, I'm gonna start targeting Fizbo's and expires this month. I'm gonna cold call, I'm gonna leverage whoever's script. Um, and then they put in their calendar that they're gonna prospect for two hours today or whatever the situation is. Usually what they'll do is they'll hear that I door knocked for three hours a day every day for my first six months. And they're gonna say, well, I'm gonna prospect three hours tomorrow. Couple things that go wrong here. The first thing that goes wrong is most people put things in their calendar but aren't disciplined enough to actually execute on it when the time comes. So if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. But the caveat to that is if it does exist, it doesn't matter if you don't actually do it. So let's say, this again is just a hypothetical example, your priority this month is prospecting. Great, don't put three hours in your calendar for tomorrow. And the reason being is because most realtors struggle with consistency. We talked about discipline of actually doing it, but the consistency aspect is also a big struggle for many. So where I see agents go wrong is they put in three hours for every day this week and they burn out after the first or second day because they're exhausted because they have not built up the stamina in order to prospect for three hours. And you're gonna say, well, Mike, you did it for three hours as a new agent. Well, yes, but every evening as an engineer after work, I will go home and I would prospect and I would role play by myself in my bedroom for two to three hours. So I had built up the stamina leading up to it to the point that I could execute on it when the time came. If you're just getting started with prospecting or YouTube, it's like the people that wanna do three videos a week and they've never done one video a week consistently for three months, you're gonna burn out after the first week and you're gonna quit. So if you're just getting started with something, say prospecting, put it in your calendar for one hour a day, every day for the next month. And once you do that every day for one hour, bump it up to two hours and start to see how you feel. But don't bite off more than you could chew because that's ultimately gonna lead you to quitting. But it's really important for you to focus on calendar management so that you actually execute. Maybe it's your CRM where you don't have to prospect. Well, if it's your CRM, block off one hour per day to learn how to use your CRM. Don't be watching YouTube videos of a TikTok strategy Watch YouTube videos on the CRM that you committed to, and there's not one best one, all of them work if you use them. Choose one and watch videos and apply it and say, today I'm gonna learn how to send out market reports. Great, learn it today, implement it today. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna learn how to do a buyer's drip campaign. Great, watch a video, learn it, apply it. And what you'll see is that if you just make it the priority of learning one thing per month instead of tackling all of these different things, the truth of the matter, and I'm gonna hit you right in the face, which is that you can be wildly successful doing anything. So where I see a lot of agents feeling overwhelmed is they're seeing this agent that's crushing it on YouTube and they say, well, I wanna do that. And then they watch the next video and somebody's crushing it on Instagram and I wanna do that. And then they hear how amazing prospecting and expireds are right now. And oh my God, I want to do that. And then they want to do it all. Pick one. And here's what's going to help you. It doesn't matter which one. Pick anyone. Put them on a note. Write a note. Put it in a jar. Shake it up and just draw one and go. Like it does not matter. There's agents that do seven figures a year. From cold calling. From door knocking. From their database. From YouTube. Instagram. TikTok. Facebook ads. Google ads. It does not matter. So if that's the case, there's not one that's better than the other. The one that's the best is the one you're actually gonna do. So just shake it up in a jar, freaking pick one and go after it. And if you make that a habit every single month, your business will change forever. And the last thing I'll leave you with is the easiest strategy, which is the power list. I talk about this in a lot of my videos, which is from Andy Frazella, one of my mentors. The power list, is five income producing activities every single day to move the needle of your business. This is not laundry, this is not groceries, this is not making the bed, this is you're prospecting for one hour, you're role playing for one hour, practicing your objection handlers in your script, you're learning for one hour, which is maybe watching a YouTube video on somebody else doing it, but all related to your one thing for that month. Might be two months, might be three, but don't move on to the next thing until you've mastered the first one. And if you start to apply this, 
it will completely change your business. And all it takes is for you to get rid of the distractions by picking one and making that your entire living, breathing focal point every day you wake up to execute on that. Now, with that being said, if you have any questions about that, drop a comment below. And if you would like to know how to actually build out the perfect calendar that will fit you and your new goals, just check out this next video and we walk through exactly how to manage your calendar, a bunch of tips, tricks, and ninja strategies to hold you more accountable and make sure that you execute and see your business grow every single week.